Welcome to another episode of It's a Jungle Out There. I am your host, Maria Tabrari. As you know by now, season two is more intimate and raw. We will travel to locations and also have guests at CWF right Miami. Here. Yes, to share their stories on the fly and real. We're pitting back the layers to tell stories as they happen and show you a lot more of our guests unedited as it happens. Let's get it in. No. Let's get into it. Let's get into it and meet today's special guest, Matt Dillon. Well, hello. Hi, Matt. I'm ready to take it all off and get so raw. You ready? You're that ready? That sounds terrible, but yes, I am ready. Okay. Tell us about go. how you came to be the queen in your own jungle. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, wait, wait. <laughs> Shit, the last word. <laughs> Tell us about how you came to be the queen in your own life to date. The queen? Yes, honey, yes. honey, honey. Well, listen, kings and queens, I'm all about consistency. So to the day I die, I still want to be learning and growing. So I, I never think your potential is equated to the depth of work that you're willing to do. Not only the physical hard work, but the work that you can do up here. Mentally. No yeah. Problem. So so how did I become the queen or the king? It's evolving. It's evolving. I maybe I'm at the prince level right now. I don't know. Mm. But I feel like I'm... I mean, God, we're in 2023 now. I just turned 40 years old. Last year was, it feels like a blur, but it was like everything that I put my mind to and wanted, I got through hard work. So it's the don't let anything ever be confused yes. with it. It's a little bit of timing. It's a little bit of this, but unless you're willing to put that work in, hit that wall and also realize shit, like I got to redo that again get back up and do it again. Like, yeah, I will. I'm going to be the biggest queen out there. Don't you worry. Yes, it's setting it's setting your, your boundaries. I think it's setting your goals and and working every day hard and and I and understanding that failure. Mm -hmm. um, when you fail and you fall and you keep trying, you will succeed. And you surround yourself With by the, friends, the right people. The right friends, people. family, people that you work in Support business you, with. Support you, believe yeah. in you. Because you can't do shit by yourself. And that's what, probably one of the biggest things. But you have to find the right people to do this Correct. with. Otherwise, it's, you know, I mean, we found each other. And now it's like, you know, haters are going to hate. Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So let's look at one of your darkest moments and how you came out on the other side, stronger, more resilient and powerful. Knowing that I, you and I wrote these questions together, I knew this question was coming. And, you know, the last few years has been death, death in family. There's been realization of, you know, how far I've come. But I think probably the darkest moment was, you know, there was a few years when I lived in New York. I lived in New York over a decade where I really battled with cocaine addiction. And I can honestly say, you know, addiction is... You can be addicted to anything, but I'm like, God damn, I wish I was addicted to sex. Because I'm like, mm. shit, I'd have way no, more, that's, that's I'd have way more money, way more money. I bring a lot of humor into it for me because that's my way of, of showing that the growth and being like, I've taken the steps. I've stumbled, but I've taken the steps. I've gone through programs to be able to bring myself out and, and realize two things that I was... I got into that world that introduced me to drugs. The difference is that I wasn't doing it to try and feel like I fit in there. It was a total escapism for me in the beginning. So I felt like it did more from what I thought it was doing to me, yet it was pushing me into the wrong crowd of people. And once you get stuck in that cycle, it can be vi like... Vicious. It can it's be vicious. vicious and you can't get out. And you, that you lose self-respect for yourself. You lose respect for people... It, it's it's terrible, but I have so much empathy for people because I can't look at anybody and be like, oh, they're a junkie, they're this, they're that. Nobody knows how difficult it is. It to is. Struggle with that kind of, it's a disease at the end of the day, like an alcoholic, like a, a shopaholic. I'm a shopaholic. I've gotten better. Much better. <clears throat> Let me see these new shoes. Ah! Kidding, kidding. But I think twice, you know, I usually, when I go, I, I look at things, I 
I look at things and I think about it, go home and sleep on it. And then you sometimes realize you really don't need it. That's so the that's thing. the thing of, of thinking and being an adult and growing up and, and maturing, I would say. So let me ask you this question. Do mm -hmm. you think yourself that you are an addict or a recover addict? It's, it, how I'm, would you see yourself? Because this is the, a number one thing that yeah. you, you need to ask yourself. I'm definitely a recovering addict, but I am not in any way, shape or form delusional to think once an addict, always an addict. Correct. And it's a working and so process. This, is, this is a lifelong dedication to, to being yourself. a better person and to being the best version of myself. That's straight up. So then and you're, so and you're good. things are great. And, I, and I'm blessed because my mindset was able to click and become... A creature of habit that means i wake up at six o'clock in the morning because not because i choose to because that's because become something that's ingrained in me bringing limbani into my life and that dedication and as as you know we'll get into a little bit later that responsibility i don't take lightly working with you working with gertie working with whomever you guys put your trust in me i take my work very seriously so i don't want to be you know at 25 percent, because i've been out the night before you know what i mean it's like right. respect yourself respect your talents and and work through the steps it's you know so do you think Bonnie has helped you in your growth uh, uh like physical yeah. like therapeutical across the board completely different People always say to me, oh my God, Miami is like the craziest city. And I was like, um... Well, Miami is crazy if you don't have control of yourself. You can lose yourself I'm, in Miami. I live on the beach and I don't go clubbing and I don't do this. I commute from South Beach all the way here and back. And the airports. And the airports and go to other places. I'm very blessed. Again, another, another ode to respecting how far I've come. My beautiful home with the million dollar views, respect that, you know, respect how far you've come. And for me, that's, Limbani is a part of this, you're a part of this. People putting their trust in me. I, a, I've got too much to lose, but B, why would I want to lose it for a, a, a high that doesn't last longer now for me? It's, it's, frankly, it's like, I always, now I always say, God, I could have been a bajillionaire the amount that I went through in New York City. It's like, God, I wish I was a shopaholic. I don't know, no, no, no. I don't you know, know what to tell you. Well, you know, this is new. <laughs> well, but I, you work hard for it and you're in it. This is from uh, from Boohoo, man. $15, don't you worry. So. We, we live, we learn, and yeah, it's, it's an exciting 2023. We're here. I feel like I've stepped into this new world and I've realized who I am. I, I'm the best version of who I am right now and I'm just like, no tap on wood but that's not even going to be a problem for me anymore because i just don't surround myself with those kind of people so that's a lesson learned and yeah. we move on you know yeah many people have come to know you through the work you've done at cwf how was cwf and in particular in bonnie that made an impact in your life do you even have to ask that question no but i want to hear but it from you your okay. words okay okay um i'm a creature of habit so it's like when I first came to Miami, I did. I booked a trip to come and meet this chimpanzee that I saw off Instagram. And then it kind of evolved into, you know, meeting you and moving into a more PR role and looking at the totality of what ZWF is and what it stands for. And I think what we've done together has been phenomenal. And what we continue to do is constantly recreate ideas. Correct. And I think that's really, it's fresh. It can be controversial at times. Oh yes, but we both are very creative, and I think our ideas yeah. are, are 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 you know are, are united and yeah. uh, and they're wild, but they're different, and that's what we're trying to bring to the industry here. I agree. I completely agree. But in terms of Limbani, I mean, God, just like you would feel, he stole my heart. It's like that is you know I'm I'm so technically has, known as auntie to him and yes. so has it helped you emotional or yes. therapeutical? I think both. both, truly both. I don't take lightly the responsibility that comes with the relationship I have with him, and that's because it's two sided, because he gets a lot from me too. So it's like I can't just be like oh Limbani yeah 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 and then walk away. 
because he has a bond with me and as he's grown older those bonds get stronger and stronger it. so it's like that is my greatest responsibility next to mama and next right. to my work and that means something to me so yes you and i work i work i travel but when i am here this morning right before we shot this podcast 9 30 to 10 45 morning enrichment food swinging running watching him sitting there listening to music enrichment whatever mood he's in whatever vibe he's in he will always guide you to where he wants to be, he wants to be he'll good. he'll narrate the story of his life he's the leader at that point he sure is but at the same time i see through him that as much as i get from him he's, it's he gets from me too yeah, so that responsibility i don't take lightly and so yeah it, it changed my world it gave you know and it my god i moved from west hollywood whoever like it's it's insane to think about. It's yeah. really kind of like. So you you feel you thought in your heart that you made the right decision moving to hands Florida. down, yeah. hands down, hands down. Hands down. Florida, With Limbani, outside of Limbani, the friendships that we've formed, the bonds, the 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 life, and I think through last year, even you and I saw like the growth that we've had, the red carpets, the this, the that. Yeah. It's everything we worked hard for last year and now moving into this brand new year is starting to chip away and it's well, now now we're now we're seeing it yes. so it's you know they'll they'll see it soon enough yes, and if they actually, don't well what can we do we move on we sure do okay what is a project you have brewing that you're excited for okay i don't even know whether you know this project hmm. but one of my 2023 goals this year so sarah who was your first episode of season two the divorce coach put me with her publisher who is an interesting person so i'm not going to say too much but basically is going to help me ghostwrite a pr 101 book and hopefully by the end of the year i would like to release say you know a book that kind of takes what's up here and gives and a little out there everybody yeah. What is your favorite part of being able to change and make an impact in the lives of people you meet? I think for me, yourself, Gertie Abrera from the Real Housewives, Sarah Davison, I'm blessed to work with people that is like you work closely with them. Now that comes with, you know, you become the therapist, you're this, you're that. But the greatest joy I receive is seeing you guys live out your dreams. Oh, seeing us grow. And I love. I want to see you live out your dreams, and as you live out your dreams, I'm living in them out, kind of synergistically next to you. So it's like I picked the right job for myself. It, it works for me because I and truly that's the love best when you when you actually choose something that you like as a career and you yeah. work every day, day by day. It's it's incredible it's it's truly like yourself there's it's there's ebbs and flows and it's never you know you know how it is we keep it 100 here it's not what we do is not that they have a perfect life they're lying big pathological exactly. pathological yeah. but where i started at the beginning of last year and where i ended at the end of last year was just pure hard work and to look back at everything that we did Yes. Pat ourselves on the back because it's it's incredible and it's and it's hard hard work and that's all it is it's consistency showing up doing the work and that is my greatest joy seeing you being able to the growth that you've come through in terms of being able to sit on a couch and talk to people it's like you know you get you get in your way sometimes but don't we all because you want to be the best exactly and that's it but you continue you show up and that's all you need to do that's what you need to do is just show up every day and be determined and be the queen it. that you were meant to be, honey. Yes. They said that we wouldn't be able to do it. <clears throat> they were crazy. Yeah. But then again, we are both crazy. I was like, tell me about it. This is <laughs> this is water. <laughs> Let's give them something to talk about. Always. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> okay. Where can your listeners, viewers, find out more information on you and follow you on social media? can follow me across the board at Matt Dillon 1983 My website for my business is mdpr.us. And then, yeah, you know, catch me every now and then on Limbani's account, ZDOF's account, doing, doing So if thing. anybody needs a PR, Matt Dillon, here's a guy. You just have to 
Email we'll see, we'll see if I'm available. I might text be the, me. Check, text me. <laughs> call text, me. Call Maria. We'll see how we go. But uh, this has been really nice to sit here and and kind of be on the other side of this. I Is there this, anything you want to share with us? Any any other? No, I'm just excited yeah, for 20. Excited. I'm excited for this year. I think we're all excited for 2023. We want to let go of 2022. I want to let go of 2020, 2021. 20, yes. I feel like they were all maybe in like glued together yes good times bad times but i'm like 2023 has started strong i just had my birthday i'm 40 years old now and fabulous let's go mm. we had a great party didn't we yes we did <laughs> to next time i want to thank i want to thank mike no what the <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. This is, wait, this is good. I'm putting this on social media immediately. I'm spitzing. Okay, come on. Till next time, I want to thank Matt Diller for joining me, reminding you that we're all kings and queens in our own jungle, and each and every one of us has a story to tell. Till next time, I'm your queen, Maria Tabrawi, and we We'll see you again. So if you guys want to share any stories, you can direct yourself to Maria Tabrawi, my Instagram, Maria ZWF Miami, or Matt Dillon's. You can Matt direct Dillon 1983 direct to us. We are opening this platform to anybody that really has a story. A story and they want to tell us, you know. This is raw this season, it's fun, and I think you know, I think that's gonna connect who she really is. She's a boss bitch, honey. But you cross her. Yes. Edit. <laughs>